What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Extremely, extremely slow tech news day. But we do have one story for you and then we have a bunch of questions and the questions are pretty good. They're different. So that'll help add to the value of the video. But without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day has to do with the camera, specifically if you're using the expert raw camera app on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So if you've been updated to 4.1 and you have the expert raw app downloaded, which we spoke about this app maybe a week or two ago and the app allows you to easily take raw photos, meaning that when you take a photo, it's not gonna be compressed into a JPEG, a JPG file, and you'll get the best clarity and uh, resolution, everything with the photo. Like it's not gonna be, it won't be compressed. Now don't get me wrong, JPEGs look, I, in my eyes, absolutely fine, but maybe you want that raw, raw feeling and you can download the expert raw app. But there's a nice little update that's come out for the expert raw app. And if you wanna download the app and update it, you have to go onto your Galaxy phone, go into the Galaxy store and check for updates in there. The way you do that is all you do is, where am I, go back, go back, hit menu at the bottom, go to updates at the top, and then hit update all, and you should have the update. It's rolling out right now, so you might have to wait a little bit, but it is rolling out. I know I have it right now, and what it does for you is it does the following. It puts you up to app update 1.0.1. The clarity is enhanced in low light, so you're gonna get much better low light performance now with this app. So if you're struggling with it or you didn't like it, check back into it and this update should fix those issues. It's out right now. Your question of the day is, do you even take raw photos or do you just like use the regular camera app? Let me know in the comments down below. I just use the regular camera app. I only did that video and showed it off because I thought people might be interested in it, but I personally just use the regular camera app. I'm not really that interested in raw photos, but maybe you are. Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that boom. First question of the day comes from Ultranet. This channel is great for all things Android. Can I ask you a question? I have an S21, smallest one, but I want a larger phone. Is the S22 Ultra worth it? I've heard some bad things about the battery life. I don't really uh, game, so I'm not concerned about performance throttling. I don't need, I do need decent, decent battery life. Thanks. You should get decent battery life. The really it's gonna come down to if you um, uh, just give it a couple weeks to really let the battery learn its usage cases and then you should probably be fine if you're really, otherwise if you don't like battery on the Galaxy phones, look at the iPhones. Um, otherwise, look at the S22 Plus if you don't need the 2K Plus resolution, if you don't need the bigger, slightly bigger battery, if you don't need the slightly bigger screen, it's still pretty close in size and stuff like that, so you might even wanna grab the S22 Plus. Anthony Drake says, I have the S22 Ultra and I did receive the GOS patch. I don't play games on my phone, so my question is, should I switch the GOS off, which I have on now, or should I switch it on and leave it on? I'm confused. So. I look at it like this. If your performance is absolutely fine, don't worry about it. If you do know, you notice some lagginess or you know performance in gaming that's not performing the way you want or just performance overall with apps, turn it off. I did an app, a video on it, so if you search my channel for how to turn GOS off on my channel, it'll come right up. Um, so I would, I mean, I would say turn it off, but do you need to, if your phone's running fine, no. Matthew Gill says, question, would you recommend a Tab S8 Ultra? I have a Tab S7 Plus. Probably not. Are you gonna notice a huge difference? Probably not. I mean, it is really, really big, but is it a huge difference? It is a must, must have upgrade? Again, probably not. It can do everything that yours can do. Um, are you gaining anything extra? Probably a little bit better screen, a bigger screen. Um, lower latency with the, I believe lower latency with the S Pen. But beyond that, it's probably not really worth the upgrade. Shajil Sazad said, do you think Samsung will fix the shutter lag? Because I honestly don't think so. So shutter lag is when you take a photo, especially of a person or something, and there's it's slightly blurry. Um, I don't think they're gonna fix it anytime soon. Could they fix it? Definitely. Why won't they fix it? I would assume it has something to do with their algorithm and the way that they like their photos to look. I don't know why they don't though because it is annoying and I would like if it fixed because then you'd put it in the same category of crispness with the Pixel and the iPhone. Silent Runner Speaks says, I'm adjusting to Android from Apple and I'm determined to make this happen after many failed attempts. That being said, what is a good video 
editing app for Android. I don't edit videos at all on Android um, with videos. If I were you, well, I know that the one that's on Apple that everyone uses is coming out to Android. Real Edward says, do you think Samsung will ever come out with a true successor to the Galaxy Tab S8 8.4 with a Super AMOLED display? I would like to think they would, especially when they can con compete against the iPad mini. I think if the iPad minis are really runaway success in terms of sales, which I think it sells well, but if it really, really runs away with good sales, I can see Samsung coming out with a higher end one. Until then, probably not. And our last question comes from Jessica A. My Z Flip 3 is not keeping accurate screen on time. I can have several hours of screen on time and it will show an hour or a little more. What could cause this? Never had this problem before. I have cleared uh, cache of data in the device and it did nothing. I never use that app. I don't really care about that app, so I don't mess around with it too much. Um, if you can try resetting that those, those statistics in that and see if that fixes it. Otherwise, I'm honestly not too sure. Thanks so much, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below and we'll see you down the road.